Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is January the 15th, I do believe. I know it's Sunday. And I thought I'd get up here and show you guys what I've been up to. I've been up to uh, quite a few <laughs> things. I've been I've been starting quite a bit of things. I normally don't do that, but I'll tell you in a minute how many I got. But Well, to be fair, some of them are from last year. And I mean, some of them are from earlier last year. And some of them I kind of forgot I had. But anyway, I wanted to get up here and show you guys what I've been up to lately. I tried to, to go outside and do my video, but it's just too cold. It's windy, cold, and it's just, it's just dreary. <laughs> Sun's not shining. I think it's only shined just for about five minutes already today, and that's it. But I, uh, I'm so ready for spring, guys. I am. I'm ready for it to get warm enough to where we can go outside, and I can do my videos out there, and work on something outside, and just be in the garden and get my blood flowing. It's just too cold right now. I, I am so ready for it though. But anyway, um, as you can tell, I got my shelf up already. Yeah, I finally got it up. <laughs> and then I got my little, um, oh, my peg board, I call it. It's just got like three pegs on it. You can make something and hang off of it. And I got that up there. And I actually have a quilting hoop sitting right over there that I need to hang up over here. But I'm wanting to put something in the center of it. Hubby got that for me about, oh, I guess going on eight years ago, I started uh, working on a quilt, hand sewing it, and it's still not done. <laughs> and I bought it to put it inside of it so I could hold it on my lap. But after I got it and started using it, I didn't care too much for it. So I'm going to try to maybe get some fabric out and just make something uh, scrappy to put in the center of it and then hang it up there. And so maybe do that. But yeah, I need to get that quilt out and work on it. But I don't know. I just hadn't done it and it's been a while. <laughs> and so that's what I want to hang there. And then I've just got, like I said, a few uh, Valentine things. Um, this one here, I should have got it a while ago, I guess, before I started my video. But this is the one I made, oh, a couple of years ago, I think. Um, might have been three years ago. I, I'm not quite sure. I didn't really, I should have looked to see when it was. But this is a paid for pattern. And it is by the Osage County, I believe is the name of the website. And when I seen it, I thought, I've got to make that because I love bees. And I just thought it was the cutest little thing. <laughs> now, it was really easy to make. And, and you actually make two panels and then you crochet it together. And here's what the back looks like. And all the yarn, if I remember right, that I used for it was, this looks like it's Red Heart Super Saver and it might be that cherry red. And this is that baby pink. I actually looked before I started my video. I actually have it right here. <laughs> I remembered this time, and it's called baby pink, and it's that red heart super saver. And then the black is probably mainstay black. But I just thought she was the sweetest thing. And that's the other one of the uh, Valentine de decorations that I have in here. And then... Oh. There we go. Um, now, the other one I have is part of my Valentine decoration is this mouse. Now, I made this, I think it seemed like it was earlier last year. And uh, I just thought she was the cutest thing. <laughs> now, it is from Yarn Healed website. And it's called Lisa the Mouse. And I think there's a boy mouse that goes with it, too. But I just thought she was the cutest thing. And now she's actually got it to where it, she's got a crochet hook and then a little project that she's working on. And I did have that, but I don't know what I ended up doing with it. But I just thought she would be cute to set over here. Now, this was really easy to make and so much fun. And I guess I need to make the boy and have him sitting over there too. But uh, the yarn I used for this, I'm pretty sure this is that mainstay uh, gray yarn that they don't, have anymore the yarn the main set that they have now available is like a real dark it's this one here well that looked like it but actually i don't know where it's at i've got some it's just gray and it's dark <laughs> but anyway this is that lighter gray they have that they don't have available anymore and then this is a hobby lobby i love this yarn and it's a pink and then i put a little bow in her invisible hair <laughs> and then put a little uh 
Oh, a little button in the center of her bow, but she's just so cute. I guess I should have gave her a tail. I don't think the pattern's got a tail. I could cr just do a bunch of chains. I might do that. She needs a tail. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought she'd be cute sitting back here on my table. And I've got a few other little Valentine things. This little uh, plaque here. My daughter and my son-in-law made that for me. It's um, nail art where you just put nails in a board and then you take yarn and you wrap it around it. I just absolutely love that. They've made me several, several pieces. I need to show you guys. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. And then this, I mentioned this, I think, in my last video, is a little ceramic piece that I found at my favorite antique store. And I absolutely love this. And it was made in, not, they got it dated on the bottom of uh, 1982, and it's got somebody's initials. But I just thought she was so sweet, and I had to have her. And so she sits back here next to my little crochet heart that I showed y'all I've made. And then I just picked up a few little wooden signs. I, I guess it was last year. And then uh, I got my gnomes up there that my friend Ann uh, gave me. Was it last year? And some happy mail. And I got a couple of more, but they're somewhere else in the house. So, And then this blanket is one that I made uh, earlier last year, I believe it was. And this is, if I remember right, I think this is Jada in Stitches, her blanket. And I wrote it down. Let's see if it was, I think it's called, yeah, the Crochet Chevron Ripple Zigzag Wave Blanket Pattern. And I'll put a link down below. You can get, I think she's got it for free, um, a free PDF download. And she also has a video tutorial on it. But I made that last year. And that's the only one, only a crochet blanket besides the one I showed you guys in my last video, which I absolutely love. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that commented on that. You guys are so sweet for all your comments that you've uh, said about it. I do. I absolutely love that. And I haven't gifted it uh, to my kiddo yet because I was going to get a bag to put it in. And I kind of forgot when I was at Walmart the other day. But what uh, I was just so excited about all y'all's comments. And even the teacher herself, Miss Jada, commented on it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that? I was so excited. Um, I told my hubby, I said, I felt like a, a kid in school. You know, back in the day when you're in school and the teacher makes a comment about something that, you know, what your work or something and you couldn't wait to get home to tell mom and dad. Well, I couldn't wait for hubby to get off work so I could tell him that the teacher herself made a comment about it. So thank you so much, Jada. That was so sweet of you. I do. I absolutely love that. And I just want to say thank you for being such an excellent teacher. And I do. I, I can't wait to make me one. I, I'm going to make my friend one first and then I'll eventually get around to making me one. But yeah, I did. I had a lot of fun with that. But I just want to say thank you again to everybody that commented on it. And I think even, actually, some of y'all said y'all were going to be making one and been working on um, some squares, too. That's exciting. And I will have a picture of it before I forget at the very end of the video where I will have it all stretched out because one of my friends up here wanted to see a still shot of it. So I'm going to do that. So hopefully you can pause it and maybe be able to see it that way. But like I said, it is a lot of fun to make but anyhow um and I, like i said i don't know if i already said i'll have links to everything else so what have i been up to well i ended up finding a couple of uh, whips that i had started last year and when i say last year it was like uh two of them was like i started them in april i think and then they kind of got, as I think I've mentioned before, they got shoved in a bag. They were in a bag, and then they got a bag shoved inside of a bag, inside of a bag. <laughs> During some of my fancy cleanups in here, and I shoved it in the closet, and I kind of forgot about it. Well, then I dug them out, and I thought, my goodness, why didn't I finish this one? All she liked was her eyes. <laughs> Just sewing them on. You know, they weren't safety eyes, but it was just making her some eyes, and that was it. And I guess I thought I'd do it, and I just never got around to it. And then the other one just liked the little bit part. Well, she liked her hair, and then she liked the bottom part of her body and stuff, which it didn't take long at all to finish it. And so I, fin I ended up finishing up two of those whips that I've had forever. Now, to be honest, I think I've got like... I got eight or nine whips going. I kind of lost count. <laughs> and let's see, I've got one, two, three, 
four, five, six blankets going, guys. <laughs> now, two of them, one of them, actually, all I like is getting my end sewed in. And that's it. And that was whenever I was on my ripple blanket kick. And uh, I absolutely love making them. Now, they that's a good way to use up your scrap, your scrap, your scraps <laughs> is with those, uh, what are they called? What is it the sunburst? Or was it a, called a baby blanket? I don't know. It's one of Jada's stitches. And I started making them last year. And I made several of them. And I absolutely love that pattern. It's addicting. And so I've got two over here sitting in a basket. And one of them is done. And I just got to sew the ends in. And then I started another one because I think I was doing it for like different seasons. And I made another one for like summertime. But I, I kind of stopped because I got busy outside in the garden. And it's always sitting over here in the basket. And I need to finish it. I was almost tempted just to stop where I was at, but I thought, no, I'll just get it out and work on it on the evening whenever I'm wanting to work on something that I don't have to think about. So, and then I ended up, I've got that C one here, this one here that I was working on last year. And this is by, I think it's Maria's Blue Crayon. And I was doing an ocean theme and I believe I was making some of those, was I making amigurumis? out of Olive's book at the same time. I can't remember. But anyway, this is as far as I got. <laughs> and so I still got two more rows to go. So I need to work on this and get this one done. And then I'm actually working on two blankets that are for my neighbors. And uh, one of them is a sunburst and uh, the other one is a, oh, or some kind of ripple I found online. And then the other one is another, the other Valentine blanket that I said I was wanting to work on. Because if I work on the same project right after one, right after another, I don't want to get burned out because I've done that before. So I started my other one and I've actually got all the squares done. And all I'm doing now is starting to uh, crochet them together. So I, I actually worked on that today and I'm going to, I want to try to get it finished before I show you guys. So, and it's turning out really pretty. But anyway, that's what I have there. And then, of course, my Raggedy Ann and a couple other whips I got going. I'm actually working on another one of these. <laughs> so, it's not like me to get that many going at one time, but I don't know. But, of course, like I said, some of them were from last year. But anyway, what have I been up to? Boy, howdy, it's taken me a while to get to that. <laughs> now, my finished objects that I got are the ones that I was saying that I found them and I finally finished it. And the first one is going to be this one right here. And I just think she is the cutest thing. And it is, I believe, a free pattern. Yes, it's a free pattern on their blog. And it's uh, Petals to Pickets. And it's called the Crochet Doll Pattern with Clothing and Accessories. And here she is. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? Oh, I love this so much. And she was so easy to make and so fun. And, uh, and all I liked on her was just her eyes. So I sat in there last night and I ended up sewing her eyes on. Now I wanted to put eyelashes on her and I tried and I struggled with it. I just wasn't doing a very good job. I don't know if I just wasn't focusing or what the deal was. So I just did her eyes like that. And I actually gave her a nose because on the pattern it don't show a nose, but I just whip stitched, whip stitched it in there, which is really easy to do. And then I gave her some blush on her cheeks to kind of give her a little bit of color there on her face. But I just thought she was the cutest thing. And all the yarn that I used, I don't, I won't remember the name because I, like I said, I started this early last year. But I know that's a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in a blue. And that pink, I'm going to say is Mainstay Pink. And that green is a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And this is that peach Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in the brown. I'm sure that's Hobby Lobby yarn. Feels like it. It's so soft. And I just put her hair on there. How I done that was I just, you know, tied her, tied her hair on up there. And then I just went back through and just took uh, all my uh, needle that I uh, sew on with and just put, put it into the strands and just kind of separate it and it kind of gives it that curly look like that but I thought she was so cute and then she's got her little headband I think I did so yeah I finally sewed that in too <laughs> can't believe I let it just took so long just to put eyes on her <laughs> and 
and then her little dress is just so cute but she don't have you know she don't have a body that's how it looks in there and, and just so sweet but there's like two other ones too that i'm wanting to make and they're just so cute and so anyway i'll have a link down below where you can go check it out and uh, to see the accessories i've seen that one of them the other one's got a headband and the other one i think has got like a basket of flowers or something or maybe it was a purse but i'm planning on making them too so anyway i just think she's cute i'm gonna give that to my granddaughter she'll love that so that's my finished object there that i had it's only taken me a year well not quite a year <laughs> oh my goodness now the next one i'm going to show you let's see here if i can find it i should have marked them okay this one is called the crocheted sock dolls and it is a paid for pattern and it's by holland designs and she's got a lot of cute patterns and i seen this one last year and it like i said paid for pattern and i thought i gotta make that you know so of course i got it and then i got oh the biggest part of her done and then i ended up just putting her to the side and never did finish her and so I think what I liked on her was her legs and her socks and her shoes and her hair. And here she is. <laughs> Isn't she cute? It's supposed to be like a, like a sock, I guess you could say. Kind of like the sock monkey. You take a sock and you know how you can turn it into a sock monkey. Well, that's the way this is supposed to be. Like a sock doll. But I just thought she was so cute. And so... And the, the only thing that took the longest actually was the dress part. And you just did, if I remember right, I think it was front, uh, front post, back post. It's how you get that effect on it like that. And then to get the arms, which I'm a little crooked on them, but that's, but that's okay. It gives it the character, you know. One's kind of like she's got it behind her and the other one's kind of like she's got it in front of her. I wasn't very straight at sewing it. You just go back into the, the doll itself and then you're going to form the arms and that's how you do the legs too just super cute and then that's how you do it with the shoes you just go in with the white and do the socks and then the little black at the bottom to form her shoes and then her hair was um back loop and then you would do chains and that's how you got the little hair on there like that I guess if you didn't want it to stick out like that, you could hot glue it on. And be honest with you, I hot glued her hair on. <laughs> I didn't want to do all that sewing, so I just hot glued that on there. And I put some blush on her cheeks. And I can't remember if the pattern had a nose. I might have gave her a nose. But just so cute. Now, if I had to do this one over again, I probably wouldn't have gave her safety eyes. I think I would have just sewed her eyes on like I did this one here. And I plan on making another one, and I will probably just sew her eyes on and not do it like that but just so cute but i'll put a link down below if you'd like to make one too just so cute all right now that's my second one now my third one okay now this one goes along with what i had mentioned several times that i had my hubby make me and um, he ended up making me a dollhouse and I've been asking for one for a long time, and he finally got around to it. Now, when I say a dollhouse, it's not like the typical ones that, that I guess you could play in this one if you wanted to, but I wanted something as like a conversation piece, and it's real deep inside of it. So, because I like a lot of dollhouses are just, they're not so deep, you know, where they can get in there and play in them. But I just wanted something, like I said, as a conversation piece. So he ended up making me one, and I think it's three story if I, yeah, it's three stories. And so I wanted to make a doll to go in there. Now I will either insert a picture of the dollhouse or I'll do a video, a little video on it to show you guys. But I absolutely love it. I mean, it sits right on top. I've got another sewing table just like this in my living room, and I have it sitting on top of it, and that's where it's at, and I absolutely love it. I've actually had one of my cats try to get in it. <laughs> and they have managed to get the doll out of it. Because I, when I went in there in the, mor in the morning, there was a doll laying on the floor. And I thought, you guys, don't be messing with my stuff now. <laughs> so anyway, I'm trying to find pieces for it too. Because some of that stuff that you find for it, those little doll pieces and stuff, some of, it's ex some of it is expensive. 
And some of it that I'm trying to find, I can't find it. But I know eventually I'll end up running across some. And some of it I'm wanting to hand make myself. Because I have made a dollhouse out of cedar branches before. And uh, where I took branches and pretty good size ones. Oh, about the size of both of my thumbs together. And I would scrape the bark off of it. And then I would add them together. And I made a dollhouse out of it. And then I made the furniture for it too. So that's what I'm planning on doing for this one. Like a bed and stuff like that. But I ended up making this right here. <laughs> Now, this pattern, I changed it up. Um, let's see, the name of it. Let me see if I can find the name of it. Um, let's see here. I know I wrote that down. I'm pretty sure I did. Ragdoll. Yes, it's called Ragdoll Crochet Pattern. And if she's the same one I remember... And when I got up there and looked, it's called Crown Country Crochet. And if I remember right, she has got a bunch of doll clothes up there that fits like those uh, old, you know, those ones that the knockoffs like the American dolls and the knockoffs like of American dolls that you can get at Walmart. She's got a lot of patterns up there for free and a lot of cute patterns. And um, yeah, if you want to, if you're interested in making, you know, doll clothes or something like that, I'll put a link down below. But uh, anyway, that's where this pattern came from. Now, I did mine a little different than what she did on hers. I ended up not putting... I kind of liked it. It didn't have a face. <laughs> and so, I left it just like that. And I was debating if I wanted to do it. At first, the reason I left it without any safety eyes, I thought, well, I'll just sew some on if I decide to do it. But I kind of like it just like that. Now, I used a... I forgot to mention on that one, I probably used on those other two a 3.5 or a 3.2 millimeter hook is what I usually use when I make an AMI. But this one I used a 3.2 on this one because I wanted to try to get her as small as I could to get in that house. And so this is what she looks like without her little shawl. I just think she's the cutest little thing. <laughs> now she doesn't have any hair. Now, if I remember right, the original pattern's got hair and she's got a face. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted mine to look more pioneer in a way, I guess you could say, by putting this bonnet on it. Now, hers, I can't remember if it had a hat on it. I don't think it did, but it had like long hair and I think it was braided. I don't remember. But I'll, I'll have a link down below where you can go check it out. But I wanted to put a bonnet on mine. And so... Um, I ended up finding a pattern, and I forgot to look it up, but it was a bonnet for a Barbie. But I knew, being that this one's head was a lot smaller than that Barbie head, that it wouldn't fit. It'd be way too big. So I just kind of looked at the pattern, kind of followed it to, to a certain point, and then I just went on my own and did it. I actually made some uh, a couple of these whenever I did that country gal kitchen cow that me and Ashley did together. I made a couple of them. To put on some of those dish bottles. You know those aprons. As a matter of fact I got one over there somewhere. I should have dug it out. That uh, I think it was Jada's pattern. If I remember right. And um, I made last year. And so that's where I got the idea for the bonnet. And uh, the yarn that I used. I'm thinking this is some kind of Red Heart Super Saver. Some kind of a green that they have. And the white is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. It's like an off white. And then her shawl. I love her little shawl. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wanted to make it to match her bonnet. And so, here we are. And the doll, the pattern has a shawl. So, the only thing, like I said, I did different was I added the bonnet. And I didn't give her a face or any hair. I just did it like that. Because you probably couldn't see her hair underneath that bonnet anyway. But I could always add it if I want to. But I just thought she was cute without her little face on there. So sweet. But that's what I got stuck in my uh dollhouse yeah and now if my kitty cats will just leave it alone i got her shoved kind of to the back where they won't be sticking their paw in there getting her <laughs> but i'll have like i said i'll have links down below to everything i talk about and i'll i will i'll either insert a picture of the house or i will just make a video showing you the things that i picked up for it and her sitting in there with it a couple of the things i already had i actually Found some pieces at a, um, I believe it was at a flea market in a baggie, a bunch of pieces, and got it at a really good deal. And, you know, when you find good deals like that, it gets your blood going, and you're always hoping you 
you know, you hit all these flea markets and you're going to run across another great deal like that, but they're kind of far and few in between sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, now the last one that I'm going to show you is a Valentine's one. <laughs> I got a Valentine's one done and I'm super excited about it. Now, I've, this one came out last year and it's by Olive of Stringy Ding Ding and I absolutely love her patterns. Um, and so I remember seeing it, and but I never got around to making one. But I just thought it was the cutest thing. <laughs> and here it is. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Or she? Oh, I just love her or him. <laughs> so sweet. Now, she, like I said, she came out with this one last year around February. And it's a little beagle. I think it's called actually cute beagle dog amigurumi now this is free on her blog but she also has uh, where you can purchase pdf download if you'd like to have that instead but i just thought it was so sweet it's got a little tail and now all of this yarn that i used is mainstay yarn red in that pink and the white and as after i sewed the little hands together because in her pattern she has you sew the hands together. And as soon as I got done with it, I thought, man, if I'd have been thinking, I believe she's got, now, if I remember right, I could be totally wrong. She's got a little heart up there you can crochet if I remember right. And I wish now I would have made one and put it between his hands and then sewed it to his hands. But I didn't think about it till now. I could go in there and probably snip it and get it out, but it'd be my luck I'd hit one of those stitches and there we go. <laughs> But it, this was so easy to make. And I used a 3.5 millimeter hook. Now, the only thing in her pattern is hers calls for like some long droopy type eyes. And I wished I had some, but I didn't want to wait. So I had some brown safety eyes that I stuck in there. And then she shows you how to go around the eye with the white yarn. And I didn't, being that my eyes, safety eyes were smaller than the ones that she called for, I didn't have to uh, adjust the strip or anything like that and I think I even still did the the distance in between like she says on here and it didn't make any, any bit of a difference you just have to play around with it if whatever if you don't have big eyes like she's got you just have to play around with it to get it to look right but it was really easy to uh, make and it worked out really quick and again, I had it sitting on my table and I was done except for finishing sewing this off. And it just sat there and I thought, you need to get that done. <laughs> I'm blaming it on the weather, guys. Whenever this, when it's like this, it gives me the blues and I just don't want to do nothing. But anyway, I'll put a link down below where you can go check out her patterns. I, I keep looking to see if maybe she might have put a new one out today. I'm anxious to see if she's going to come out with any uh, different Valentine ones. Because like I said, she's got the cutest patterns and she's one of my favorite designers. But anyway. Okay, I think that might be it until I turn off the video and then I'll be saying, oh, I forgot all about that. <laughs> I think I mentioned I'm making another one of these. I guess I could get it and show it to you. Hold on a second. I was going to wait till I got completely done with it, but I might as well just show it to you since I mentioned it. <laughs> it's another one of these. I was I had thought about doing a different one, but I thought, no, I really like this one. And this is a pattern by Jeannie Steinhilber, I believe, the Crochet Crowd. And there is a, um, it is free on her blog. And I don't know if they have a video tutorial. I think they do. But anyway, it'll be free down, uh, free down below. It is free, but I'll have it linked down below. <laughs> but I wanted to do different colors this time because I've had this one, what, a couple of years. And I've always told myself I wanted to make one in Christmas colors. And I'd like to make one in Valentine's colors. And just spring colors, summer, whatever. So this one, you know, basically is fall. And being that it's, you know, New Year now. And it's get, you know, January close to February. I thought, I'd love to do one in, like, Valentine colors. And so it was either last year or the year before. I went to Hobby Lobby. And I bought me a couple of these sugar wheels. I absolutely love these colors. And I knew as soon as I seen it... it I was going to be making something Valentine's out of it. I had my mind set on making a big old bear. I've got a bear that I've made, and I might go get it and show it to you. He's called Bruno the Bear, and uh, I'll do that here in just a second. And I've made one. I've made two of them, 
And I love that bear because he just looks like an old timey lot bear. And it is a pay for pattern. And, uh, but I had intentions of making me a bear with this. But I got to thinking I really would like to have me another shrug. And I really love this yarn. And it is soft. And so I got started on it. Not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. I got started on it. And last night I finished up one whole cake. Now one whole cake has got 355 yards. Now this this thing here calls over a thousand yards. I don't even remember how many yards it calls for. Well, I've only got two of these. So I know I'm going to have to throw in something different. So that's going to be where I come in and probably make the rest of it out of whatever I got. Because I don't know if I'll go and buy another one of those, even if they still make it. That would mean either ordering something online or just use what I have because that's what I like to do. But this is where I got with it so far. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. And like I said, I love this yarn because it's so soft and it's squishy. You know, I thought, boy, it'd be really pretty just to make a blanket out of that. And, and or to take this, this granny square. It's a modern, it's called modern granny square shrug. And, uh, make a blanket and it is it's a really fun stitch because once you get going you it, it's easy this is super easy to make and so I end up sitting there last night before I went to bed I told myself while I'm working on my other blanket I, when I got done I thought I'm gonna finish that cake off before I go to bed and that yeah that sounds yummy doesn't it a cake <laughs> I'm gonna finish that cake off before I go to bed and that's what I did and I'm using a hmm I think a five millimeter hook on this one so that's what I got that's a whole cake right there so but I thought about just going back with the just making after I add the other one or who knows about me I might go in between and do some of this in it and then maybe add that in at the last and do a solid border who knows about me I might make it scrappy between here and there you never can tell <laughs> but anyway it, but like I said it's just like this one and I really like it and that's what I got going there. Now, I'm going to go get my bear, the one I'm talking about. Okay. This is Bruno the bear. Now, I love this bear so much. I have, like I said, I have made one. I think it was in brown, earth tone type colors for one of my grandkids. And then this is, and it was out of that Burnett Pop. And our Walmart used to carry it, but they don't carry it anymore. And I wish they did because I'd love to get my hands on some more of it. And this was out of that Burnett Pop, too. But I just love this bear so much. And uh, I just thought he was so cute. I love his little feet. And I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to make more of them. And maybe just do one in, you know, browns or something. But I just thought he was so cute. And he was really easy to make. Real simple. And I made this one either last year or the year before. I can't remember. So, anyway. I'll put a link down below where you guys can go check it out if you'd like to make you a Bruno the Bear. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off here. I've been really chatty today. It's almost, I'm at 33 minutes. Can you believe I talked that long? Yeah. Like I said, I've been feeling kind of blue and I've, I've been keeping myself busy working on things, but I am ready to get outside. And get, I need some vitamin. I guess I need some vitamin D. I need some of that sun. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to hop off here and quit my rambling. And you guys go uh, go check out some of these, you know, if you'd like to make you some of them. And I'll have the links down below. And thank you again for all your comments that you guys have been leaving. And you guys are so sweet. And you guys do. You inspire me and you motivate me. And thank you again, Jada, for such a, for being such a wonderful teacher. And I do. I absolutely love that blanket. And you guys made my day. Uh, commenting on it and everything but anyway i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed day and i will be chatting to you guys real soon <laughs>